Hey guys, welcome back. So it is currently about to be 9 p.m. I was about to get ready to go to bed and I sat down and I'm like, I'm gonna organize myself and I am gonna do my monthly reset. And then I had my tripod in front of me and I was like, you know what? Let me just film it. Let me just film it. That way I can inspire somebody else to do a monthly reset. And also I can hold myself accountable and I can look back at this video and be like, okay, Kat, you set this goal, this goal, and this goal. Did you follow through with these goals? So that is what we're going to do today. So if you're into doing a monthly reset with me, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to reset my finances for the month of August. And what I like to do is I like to write down, I don't know if you guys can see. Every month I write in this journal. I want to show you. Is it focusing? Okay. So every month I write the in this journal, the month, and then I write, I do little categories, which the first category is bills. And then I have amount amount due and then check one done and I list all my bills and then I'm going to list the amounts I'm going to list the due dates and check one done and then I like to come down here and I add the total amount of my bills and I write it down right and I write it right here and then I do down here I have a section where I do my first check of the month amount my second check of the month and then my extra income and then my extra income amount right here, my business income right here, and then I will put my total amount of income right here. Here I have a sinking fund area, and it says categories, amount, oh my God. This. Oh. Okay, so I have the categories the amount and then i have a section that says yay or nay and then i also have a section that says check one done so right here i list all my seeking funds category i'm gonna put the amount due and then i'll mark if i did it or not and then check it and then down here where i normally add up all my sinking funds and i'll i'll add up what i have in my sinking fund at the end of the month and that way I can restart in November. No, September. So yeah, guys, that is what I do for my finances. So I am going to go ahead and get started on that. And I'm trying to set you guys up to where you can see what I'm doing. Is that how? Hmm. Okay, guys, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. But my first category is my rent. So in the amount, I'm going to put my amount of rent. My electricity bill is going to be very expensive this month because for some reason, my electricity company decided that they weren't going to bill me for June, July, and August. Well, they billed me in August. So I guess June and July. So I just got this big bill of those three months. First category I have is my bills. Then I have my amount of my bills, due date, and then I hit and then I put a little check mark right here, which which says check one done. And then I list all my bills. So I just have my regular bills, rent, light, cell phone, thigh, tie, rent, light, cell phone, tie, credit card, car payment, gas car insurance and gas and then over here I write my total amount I write my total amount of my bill I write the total amount of my bills and then down here I do a little section for my first check of the month second check of the month uh, my extra income and my business income and then over here, I have my sinking funds, which is like the fun category. So what I do here is I do the same thing as up here. So I have a section that lists all the categories. 
So the first section says categories, amount, yay or nay. And what I do with yay or nay is I literally just write yay or nay to whatever sinking funds I did it I did get to or I didn't get to during the month. And then I also have a check when done. So here I have my sinking funds category, which is personal, taxes, home improvement, household, entertainment, medical, OSNAP. OSNAP for me is just like a random category that if I have a random expense that was not factored into my budget, then I just grab whatever money's in my OSNAP to cover that. Christmas, savings, car maintenance, clothing, and vacay. And that is it for my monthly budget. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the category, I'm gonna fill in the amount for each category. So seeking funds is my last category. That's why it's on the bottom of this page. My main focus is to get my bills paid and whatever money I have left over, I apply it to my sinking funds. If you guys don't know what sinking funds is, I will show you quickly. I got these little binders on Amazon. I have this one and let me get the other one. Give me one second. I have these two that I got off Amazon and I can link them in the description box if you're interested. And this one. And this, so this binder is pretty much my essentials, my main bills, my priority. So my first category is my income. Sometimes I have money and cash that I need to put back inside my checkings account. So that is what I use this envelope for. Second category is car, car insurance, electricity, personal care. Dining out, oh snap, which is miscellaneous, cell phone, household, my rent, food, <coughs> entertainment, and clothing, and lastly, so the reason I put money into these little envelopes instead of just swiping my debit card is because with these little envelopes, I can control how much money I spend. And But with my debit card, I would just be swiping away and I would be spending more than I need to. So when the money runs out of this envelope, that means that my spending is done. I cannot spend any more until next month. And I also love these little envelopes because if you get paid bi-weekly, you can put some money from the first check, next money from the second check, and by the end of the month, you are set. You just pull the money out and you make your payment. No need to worry. And this binder came with these little envelopes with these stickers to label them. The other stickers I ordered on on Amazon because I had ran out. It only comes with like 12 stickers and I needed way more than 12 stickers. But and it comes with these little with these little budget sheets where you can um, date what you're putting in or you can write the description, the amount if it's going in or coming out and the balance of each sinking fund. So that's this one. And then my second one is, this one gets a lot of love, you guys. Clearly I've, I've been using this one a lot. So any extra income that I get from work, I do get a paycheck, but I also get cash tips sometimes. So any extra income that I get from work, I add it to this one. And I just recently went to the bank and deposited the money that was in here, which was $599 um, because it was just getting way too big. So once these envelopes get big and bulky, it's really hard to, to close. So this one's family, Christmas. So these are like my least priority envelopes, like, um, this is whatever, this is the money that I have left over after paying all my bills. Car maintenance, and some are more priority than others. And obviously those get filled first. 
house down payment because I'm desperately trying to buy a house, which I didn't even know had $5 in there. So I bought these a couple months ago and I did not use them and I am just now making myself use this. I used it years back and it worked awesome. And then I stopped because I started getting really comfortable with my finances. But now I'm like trying to get back into the habit of using this because you guys, it's really helpful. Like it definitely keeps you organized ahead of bills. You barely have any surprises with this. And if you do have surprises, you always have money in one of your sinking funds that you can pull out to cover whatever expense has presented itself. It's just a good way of saving you guys. Your debit card does not get overused. You're not scared to check your balance in your debit card. So I highly recommend um, these little envelopes and sinking funds. They are a blessing. So property taxes, shopping, savings, health, and vacation. And that is it purpose for me to write down my monthly budget is to allocate my income. For example, if I have $5,000 a month that I can allocate each dollar and I can tell each dollar where it needs to go. And that way, that way at the end of the month, I make sure that I'm not overspending or underspending. I am spending exactly what is coming in. I am allocating it. I am putting money away into my savings and I'm making sure all my bills are paid and I am also ensuring that I am saving money for my sinking funds. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. And as soon as I'm done doing this, I'll be right back with you. And that is it for finances. Very simple. I have a goal that I want to hit um, for the amount of money I have in my checkings account. And once I hit that goal, what I'm going to do is I have, let me show you. I'll be right back. I have these um, piggy bank challenges and I also have a piggy bank. And once I met the amount of money I want as a buffer in my checkings account, what I'm going to do is the money that I have left over each month, instead of putting it into my checkings account, I am going to be putting it into my piggy bank. And my goal is to accumulate $20,000. And when I do that, I am going to break my piggy bank and it'll be a celebration. So I got these piggy bank challenge sheets from a YouTuber. Um, I will link it down below so that you guys can print it. And what I did was I wrote that $20, it, I wrote that each piggy means $20. So I already have one $20 bill in my piggy bank and there's a hundred piggies. So that would be $2,000. And I also put $50 bills signify one piggy. And again, there's a hundred piggies. So that would be 5,000. And then I have one for $10 bills, a thousand. And I wanna get more sheets. I wanna get more sheets to add up the $20,000. Um, I wanna do one for $100 bills and $5 bills. And maybe even one for ones, but I do have some ones sitting right here that if I had a sheet, I would definitely be putting money in my piggy bank with these ones. But yeah, guys, that is my goal. So now that we are done with finances, and says the next thing that I like to do is I like to plan my week. So I have these two planners. I got this one at Target. I can link it down below if you're interested. It's super cute. Look at it. And I believe it just cost me like nine bucks, nine or 10 bucks. And I also got this one at Target. It's called My Day. And it's super cute. 
So this one, so this was Tuesday of last week. So this one, I love it, you guys, because let me get onto a new sheet. Okay, I love it because you can like actually, let me see if it'll focus. They're focusing. I think so. Because you can actually like write the day of the week it is, the date, um, and you can plan like hour per hour your day, which is awesome. Because that way you don't forget to do anything. Your top three focuses, personal goals, to-do list, notes, and everything else goes down below. So this is awesome. I love this thing. I can just take it with me and I can check off each thing I accomplished each day. And then this one is like a, this one is a planner to plan out your whole week. So what I do is I just write out what it is that I need to focus on this week. For example, if I want to get three YouTube videos out this week, this week, I plan what days I want to film and what days I want to upload. I also like to use this to make sure I stay on track with my Bible study. I am currently working on the book of Jeremiah. Before I go into my Bible study, I like to read the chapters I am going to study the night before. That way, when I wake up early in the morning, I can just jump into the study. And then after I'm done with the study, I like to read the chapters for the following day and get ahead. So that is what I do. And my goal is to finish the book of Jeremiah this month. So let's see. Let's see. I'm filming this video to hold myself accountable. But yeah, guys, that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to write out my week. So if you guys have a planner, I recommend you guys highly do this. And if you don't, check out Target. These things are super inexpensive, but they are so helpful. So as soon as I am done with that, I will be right back. A few moments later. All right, guys. So I am done planning out my week for the first week of August. Uh, so I did set some goals for myself that I want to share with you guys. That way, when I look back at this video, I make sure to hold myself accountable and make sure I did fulfill these goals. So my first goal is for my home. So for the home, I'm just looking down at what I wrote. I want to deep clean some of my rooms. I do have a three bedroom mobile home and I have two and I have two empty bedrooms that I do not use. So what I do is I fill them up with everything that my business needs and it gets crazy in there. So I want to declutter, throw away what I don't need, keep what I need, um, take inventory of what I have. That way I'm not overbuying and just organize everything so that everything can feel light and airy and not so like cluttered and congested. So that is my goal for my house. The next goal I have is to empty out one of those rooms and turn it into a prayer room. You guys, I am so excited to do this. I've been waiting forever to do this. And the only reason I have not done this is because there's some stuff that is in there that I don't believe combining it into another into one room is gonna work. It's like so much stuff that I'm not sure I can make it all fit into one room. But I'm gonna focus on that this week. I'm gonna plan, I'm gonna figure out how to do it because like I am desperately wanting a prayer room. I need a prayer room. Like God deserves a special spot in this house. So that is my next goal. My third goal for, for the home is to plant my lemon trees. I bought these beautiful lemon trees, um, but I need to put them in vases because where I live here in Virginia, it gets cold in the winter, so they cannot be planted in ground because they'll die. So my goal is to find a really, really, really cute vase and put them in that vase and just bring them in in the winter and bring them out in the summer. So I need to do that. And that is it for the house. 
little things, you guys, little tasks. Next month, I'll tackle some other issue here in the house. I'm sure I'll find one. So for work, my goal is I set myself an income that I want to hit this month. Um, so that's my first goal is to hit that amount. My second goal is to save a certain amount. And if you guys want to see me like cash stuffing my my sinking funds envelopes, um, let me know down below and I'll be more than happy to film that for you guys because I love watching those videos on YouTube. So if you guys want to see that, just comment down below and I will do that for you guys. And we can go in depth on how much I make and how much I save and all that. My next goal is to start paying big chunks of money to my car payment. I have a goal, you guys, and I want to pay this car off in April. So that's my third goal. And then for work, um, for YouTube, I'm going to set myself a goal to film, to upload three videos per week. And it's going to be hard, you guys, because you all know that I have my full-time job. I have my business and then I do YouTube so that is really tough for me but you guys I want this channel to grow I want to give it my all I don't want you guys to keep waiting a month or months to see my next video so I am gonna set this goal and I really hope to fulfill this goal by the end of this month So if you guys have any video recommendations, leave them down below. Um, let's see. So I want to cut off unnecessary expenses, which is like eating out when I buy groceries, buying more plants. You guys, I have a weak spot for plants. They are my favorite. So I bought a lemon tree last month. I bought a lime tree, a raspberry tree. A rose bush and I, be and I believe that's it so hopefully this month I do not buy any plants you guys no plants I'm trying to move I'm trying to buy a house and if I keep planting planting plants I'm not gonna be able to take to take them with me so I just need to wait until I buy my own house and then I can go crazy with the plants so my my next goal you guys is to become debt free from all my credit cards. Well, I only have two credit cards. But from those two credit cards by the end of this month, which is really exciting because it's gonna free up a lot of income. And I can throw it to my car, I can put it in my sinking fund. It's gonna be exciting. I'm excited for the month of August. And the last thing I wrote is to start adding money to my sinking funds envelope consistently this month so like i told you guys i had stopped for a couple months maybe a couple years um but i want to pick up that habit again and be very disciplined with my finances starting this month i just got back from vacation so no excuses to be overspending we are going to buckle down this month and then let's see what else I got. Oh, and for my personal goals. My first personal goal is to finish the book of Jeremiah. I am doing a in-depth study of the book of Jeremiah. So I definitely want to finish it so I can get into the next. I want to give it my all. I want to give it my, all my attention and do like a deep dive of the book of Jeremiah. That way. Sorry guys, my battery just died. So I had to go charge it. But we are back. So like I was saying, one of my goals is to finish the book of Jeremiah. I want to study. I am studying it currently right now in depth, verse by verse. So I want to make it a goal to finish that book. That book is pretty long. So gonna be a challenge but i think i got this can't wait to start the next books and finish the whole bible i love the book of jeremiah you guys 
Like, there's days where that book literally just makes me cry. Like, Jeremiah's heart is so pure. He's so amazing, you guys. Like, that boy went through so much. And he still managed to fulfill God's will through all his suffering. He still managed to fulfill God's will, which is incredible, you guys. It's, it's hard. His, you guys, if you have not read the book of Jeremiah, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I love that book. He's one of my favorite prophets in the Bible. And the reason he's my favorite prophet is just because of his heart, you guys. His heart was so pure. He had such a big calling at such a young age. And he did it, you guys. He fulfilled his calling. And I'm sure when he passed and he went with the Father, he heard, well done, my good and faithful servant. So I just, I love that book. Read it if you haven't already. All this talking is like making me so thirsty. But my next goal is to go to the gyms at least three times a week. You guys, I hate the gym. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I always skip it. I just don't like going to the gym. But I need to go to the gym, you guys. I need to start working on my muscle, on building muscle. Like, I can tell that I need to build muscle. Like, I feel so weak. Um, where I work, it's a very physically demanding job. And after working 12 hours, dude, my, like, my thighs, they ache the next day. So I'm like, I really need to build some muscle because I am definitely feeling it. So my next goal is to start eating clean. You know, no more soda, no more fast food, no more sweets. I just want to clean out my system and start feeding a good nutritious foods. So next goal is fasting. I want to make sure I fast for God, not for health, at least once a week. I want to set every Monday for fasting starting this week. And last but not least, I want to set book goals, you guys. I want to read a new book each month, which I have been, which I'm so excited that I have been doing at least that goal. Um, I just finished this one, which was amazing. Juan Carlos Harrigan. I love him. Um, it's called The Power of Praying in the Morning. And it's such a good book, you guys. It's it encourages you to wake up early every single morning and pray and spend time with God. It is definitely worth it. I'm not sure if they have this book in English, but if they do, I will leave it down below in the description bar. And the book that I'm going to be starting this month is this one, Good Morning Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn. And I've heard amazing things about this book, so I can't wait to to get my hands on it and start reading it. And that is pretty much it for goals. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's not, no, this video is not the most aesthetic or wasn't the most fun, but you guys, this is stuff that we really need to do. If we want to better ourselves, we really need to take our whole life in accountability. We have to challenge ourselves daily. We have to discipline ourselves like never before. And that is my goal this month is to like be disciplined, to not slack off, to accomplish each goal that I set myself to do. I know I can do it and I know you guys can do it too. So I highly encourage you to set goals for the month of August, to plan your weeks, Every Sunday before the week starts, sit down, plan everything. Plan your grocery list, plan your outfits, plan trips and your meals, plan everything. That way your month, that way your week will flow and you won't be so over overwhelmed. It really does help me a lot because I'm constantly doing stuff. It helps me to like make sure that when I start something, I finish it. Because if I don't set goals or if I don't set a to-do list, I will start something and get back to it months later. 
which is not good. So it definitely makes me like stay organized and focused. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to do it as well. And that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this late night video. May God's peace be with you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.